The Resurrection The completion of the task set out by the Creator, since the fall of man in Genesis. The promise fulfilled, that concluded the outcome of a man as he chooses. Christ, came to sacrifice himself for mankind, as the final perfect sacrifice. For he was God, perfect and blameless. No sacrifice of any sort, could match up to this, and cover all the sins of mankind. Christ, fully God, in his human appearance, became the living word of God, and who came not to judge, but to save man from the snares of hell. He showed who God was, how he was, and his love for his creation. He also showed the magnitude of the hands of God. Christ's biggest miracle, involved himself. He was the ultimate example, of the Most High God's power, from his death and resurrection. Christ died, the crucial death, that was foretold and written by the prophets of old, and fulfilled the law, because love was the final concealment, to perfecting the law. The love of God, which he showed through Christ and his death. The resurrection, marked the prevailing, of God's plan for man, and the defeating, of death unto man, that one day, just as Christ resurrected, the departed, who have died, would also be resurrected. That the soul, would return into a body, eternal and at peace, with the Creator, for eternity. And the souls who reject God, would be separate from Him, as they wished for. The Lord knows the time He would return. Christ, as a human form and human mind, did not know this time. But God the Spirit, has laid down a time, for the return, of His beloved Son, Christ Jesus. And this return is a contrast from His first coming. This second return, will be of impact upon the whole of mankind, and the earth. He will be the ruling judge, not the frailty son, as he was before. And no man, will not see him, and his glory. God wants us to be part, of this glorious time. He wants us to reap, what he has sown for us, through the death and resurrection of Christ. Christ himself said, Come to me all those who thirst. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. Christ showed, that God was our only saviour. That we, as a creation, were incapable of saving ourselves, through the toil of sin we bared on ourselves. That God, through his mercy and love, wanted us to be saved, eternally, that we could be in his presence, free of sin, and purified. This is the purpose, for the resurrection of Christ, a crossing, back to Christ. That is God. It is up to us, whether we receive it, or whether we reject it. It is our free will given to us, by our Creator, who will never force us, to be with Him, and to love Him.